Hey guys, uh, it's Best Bubble Dev here, and I've got a new tutorial for you. So the other day on Twitter, Zachary William shared this uh, video asking us to replicate this. Well, not asking us, but he, he doesn't know how to do it. So I'm here to help you out, Zachary. So um, here is what I've built. Use shift or uh, comma to separate keywords. So unfortunately, I couldn't use tab. I don't know why, but I guess that's not a deal breaker. So this is first tag, comma. Oh, sorry. It's, so this is this weird problem uh, with bubble that if I type bubble, input is bubble, but it took a couple seconds or maybe a second to understand what's the value inside the inside the input element. So if I do, uh, this is new chip or a ttt whatever i just want to keep typing and i want to underline this that this is still t not all this huge text but if i wait a second now it's the whole value and now we've got the this uh, long tag so anyhow let me demonstrate uh, normal so tag one i'm gonna wait for a uh, for a second comma tag two I'm going to wait for a second and then do shift and it works. I'm going to do this. Also, one more thing that I've added is when I click on it, now it's active. It, it shows you the input element is focused, but when I click anywhere else, it's not focused anymore. Uh, it happens the same thing with, uh, it, it works in the same way when uh, the tag is there already. See the input is pressed, but the moment I click anywhere else, it's not there. When I click on it, it's pressed. So uh, now let's get into the backend or uh, the editor and see how it is built. So number one thing uh, for you to know is that this is not the real input element. It's just a group. But for the user's perspective, this this acts as a input element. So I've got group input. On the page, I've got this text also because I was testing Every time I created a new tag, only one letter would say. So I was like, why is this happening? So I, this text is just for the testing purposes. It doesn't have to do anything with the main UI here. So I've got group input. And inside the group inputs, I've got RGPLs, group placeholder, and group input element. So RGPLs is to display all these tags that uh, users are going to create. Placeholder is, well, obviously you see this. Uh, I've got a bunch of different texts. It's all lined up in the row element or row group. And then I've got the group element, input element. You don't have to group it inside an input, but that's how I did it for this specific uh, case. And uh, what's happening next? So I've got this group input element, right? And it has to be a row because when when this repeating group and the input element is simultaneously displayed, I want them to be side by side, not top and bottom. Although if there is many tags, that's how it's going to happen anyway. But uh, so we've got rows and we've got conditional. This is just for nice hover effect. And then I've got two custom states. One is input visible input element is visible or not. Um, and another one is CS tags. Uh, another one is CS tags, and it's just a text. You can totally make this dynamic and it will be uh, dynamic and it's it. anything from uh, option sets or uh, data types. Uh, so let's dive into this, right? So first thing that happens is user clicks on the input element. So when the input element is clicked, uh, we, we, we set the state of input visible to yes and set the focus on the input element. So this is what we get, right? So now when I click on it, placeholder disappears. So let's see what happens with the placeholder, right? So placeholder has this conditional when RGPills is not visible and input main is not vis visible either, that's when placeholder is displayed. Otherwise, we don't need it, right? So it has collapse when hidden, 
and this doesn't uh, doesn't show on uh, on uh, page load. All right, so uh, let's keep going. So yeah, this is what happens. Now, question is, we've got the input element here, and uh, let's type the tag one. Now I, I want to click on comma or shift, and I want this to be saved in the custom state uh, list, right? So I go to plugins. And let me just scroll down here because I don't remember what's the uh, name of um, this Bubble plugin. It's Bubble Native plugin. So you don't, yeah, it's called Mouse and Keyboard Interactions. And this is user presses whatever you can define whatever you want. J, it will be J. I want Command F, it will be, or Shift F, it will be Shift F. I want Command C, it will be Command C. Etc. Now let's keep these two comma. So when I click on comma, and input main input main's value is not empty, that's when I want the input value to be stored inside the custom state, right? Otherwise, this doesn't make sense. So that's why I have only one as well. Input value is not empty, then trigger a custom uh, custom event. And I decided to make this workflow as a custom event add item to custom state is because you had here uh, you had here two uh, two options right shift or comma so I want whether shift is clicked on or comma is clicked I want the same workflows to happen so to be triggered so that's why I have uh, this custom event here add item is just specific thing like it's very simple I mean it's uh, custom state and I get the value current list of a CS tags or custom state tags and I add the value of input input mains value to the to the list then I run the JavaScript so this is the part that I kind of apologize on Twitter because I couldn't figure out how to reset the input element because here is what happens just because we are using these two um, like these shortcuts basically, this plugin, we do not hit enter to store the items inside the custom state. So basically for the bubble workflow, it doesn't know what input element is working here basically. So I guess that must be the case, otherwise reset relevant inputs should work, but it doesn't work. Um, anyhow, this snippet you just, uh, paste this snippet and just make sure this is the ID of the input element and you just copy this and I'm just going to show you how this works. I've got input element here, input main. Uh, sorry, this new thing. Uh, input main and if you scroll down, ID attribute is input main as well. So this step two gets triggered and I clear the value of input element and then set set fo set focus on input main again. So that's how you get this experience when you get tag one, comma, and this fo this input element is still focused, right? So tag two, I'm gonna click on shift, boom, right? Um, but if I click anywhere else, this input element is not focused anymore focused not focused so how do I, how, how I do this I've got do when every time and I'm going to introduce so basically what I initially thought I, I wanted to do is do when condition is true and condition would would be when input main when input main is focused however we do not have that here so that's when you get creative uh, I've dropped this regular group on uh, on the page you can make it one pixel by one pixel you can make it whatever you want it's just a variable i call it variable group right input focus and its data type is yes or no and i've got inside the conditionals when input main is fo is not focused it's no when input main is focused it's yes so <laughs> this is basically it and then i do conditional right so when Variable group, yes or no, is no, and input, input main's value 
is empty. Then I just set the input visible to no and I clear it. I don't think you need this, but I don't know, I'm still doing this. So why this only when, right? So if I'm here and I typed tag whatever, if I click here, this should not disappear, right? So, well, if you think about it, your use case might be you want to remove this when you click outside, you want to clear this. All right, then you know not to do this and you're good, I guess, or whatever. So since we have all this figured out, only thing that's left is how to remove items. And we've got this nice X icon here. Uh, let me go to this one. So group pill is hovered. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've made this nice animation or something. Hover effect. Uh, when the icon is clicked, I just reset the state of group input and I just do minus item parent groups text and uh, you're good. So at the end of the day, you get this experience. Tag one comma, tag two shift. Uh, but I think this is the real, real problem that if you type something long, long tag is going in here. The value now it's gonna work. But if I'm typing uh, very long, ah, sorry. I just clicked on something else. So I'll do very long text comma, only V got saved. So uh, maybe that's a topic we have to uh, bring up with bubble. But anyhow, this is it. Hope uh, this helped. And I just thought what I'm gonna do is, this is my portfolio page that I'm uh, kind of working on right now, bestbubbledev.com. And at the end, I'm gonna add some community community uh, section there and you guys are going to be able to send me some requests and I'll uh, try to make uh, videos for you and uh, explainers and uh, walk you through how to do some different type of stuff. Uh, hope this uh, video helped you and uh, cheers. Happy bubbling and happy no coding.